Working from Home, TVUSD Distance Learning Tip. Today, one of our tech coaches, Mary Butes, will share how to host a Kahoot within Google Meet. Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to um, run a Google Meet and play Kahoot at the same time with your students. Pairing uh, is uh, setting up the assignment. <clears throat> so this is the assignment I use with my students today. I actually set it up the day before. Uh, just to read through the directions, I said, Hi, all for Wednesday's meeting. We'll be reviewing Chapter 14 to prepare you for the Chapter Quiz. We'll be playing Kahoot and reviewing the causes of the Civil War. You will first log on to the meet at 9.15 a.m. with the meeting code Butes1 so we can discuss before starting the game. To play the Kahoot during the meeting, you will either need to open two separate windows on your screen, one for the meeting and one for the Kahoot. And by the way, the kids all knew how to do this. I didn't have any kids confused about how to set this up or you can use a phone or tablet to play the game and keep your screen on our class meeting. Sending out these directions early so you can ask me any questions beforehand, looking forward to getting our Kahoot on. So I simply added, when I created this assignment, I added two links. I added the generic meet logon, which is meet.google.com, and I added the player logon for Kahoot, which is Kahoot IT. And that way they have both of those set up for them uh, when they are prepared to join the meeting. The next step before I start my meeting, I'm going to go to Kahoot and I'm going to choose my um, pre-set up Kahoot game. This is the one we use today, the chapter 14 review. Select play. And again, I'm gonna do all this before I start my meeting with my students. So, um, the option for teach allows me to do this game live with the students. So I'm gonna select teach. I'm gonna make any adjustments that I need to make for my students um, to the game. So this is where I'm gonna leave it so that I can start my meeting for the students. But in order for me to play Kahoot and have a class meeting, I need to have two separate windows. In order to do that, I'm gonna take my mouse to the top. Both my students have my meeting and have my Kahoot running at the same time. So the next step would be to start my meeting. So I'm going to start my meeting. And once I have started my meeting, hi everybody, I then need to share my screen with the students. When I present, I'm not gonna present my entire screen. Instead, I'm only gonna present one window. button and that actually starts the game for the students. Hope this is helpful. This has been Working From Home, TVUSD Distance Learning Tip.